There's a field for that race, a conditioned race for Pacers. One reached for an image owned by Beth and David Mulvey by Erling and Steve Rubesom of Newton, Illinois. J.D. Finn is in the bike. Two Amanda's first owned by Rick and Amanda Huffman of Sigourney, Iowa with Rick Huffman. Three Arrow Al owned by Alan Weischer of Lexington, Illinois. Alan Finn up. Four Perfect Tross owned by Drs. Ted Locke and Steve Helmick of Champaign and Red Belt, Illinois, with Andy Miller. Five, Miner's Joy, owned by Carl Ogle, Jr. of Paris. Mark Fletcher gets a call. Six, Any Other Way, owned by Ray Hanna and Lyle Buzzard of Altamont. Tom Simmons up. Seven, Raven Yankee, owned by Jess Judy of Potomac with David Avenetti. And at number eight, Our Smart Buy, owned by L. Floyd Taylor of Mount Erie. Mike Rogers is in the sulky. Gates moving, and we're glad. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Miner's Joy scoots across the racetrack as they drive to the turn on the inside. Reach for an image will be away second. Amanda's first drops in third. Perfect Cross Park fourth. Racing five dropped in now along the rail. Is any other way getting out six? Arrow Al seven as they swing around the turn to the quarter mile mark is Raven Yankee and at the back are Smart By making the top. Miner's Joy on the outside. Still Park trying to move up. Perfect Cross as they drive to the quarter. Perfect Cross rolling up now second. Miner's Joy leads are at the quarter. That station and 28 seconds are racing down the backstretch. And here comes Perfect Tross up on the outside. He's alongside the leader on the inside by a neck. Miner's Joy getting the perfect trip third. Behind those two is reach for an image as they drive toward the half. On the rail, racing fourth as they reach that marker will be Amanda's first. Any other way is five. Six on the inside is Raven Yankee, seven arrow Al, and our smart bike and see them all as they race past the half mile marker. They're at that mark, Perfect Tross, as they reach the half and 55 and four has roughed it. He's on the outside, now he's dropping back. Miner's Joy leads it by a neck. Perfect Tross has been aired for Andy Miller. There's room behind the leader if he wants to duck in and he's going to do that to catch his breath. Racing third on the rail, reach for an image on the outside, moving up from six, now fifth, now fourth. As they drive that way, comes Amanda's first and behind her, any other way. Racing next, sweeping three wide soon is Raven Yankee. They're past three quarters. Miner's Joy has led all the way. 125-2 for three quarters. They're at the top of the lane. On the inside, Miner's Joy as they turn down the lane far outside, rushing up Amanda's first as they're in the final eighth mile. And also closing ground is any other way as a race through the lane to the wire. Any other way on the outside gets to the lead. Far outside closing is our smart buy as a race this way. Any other way. Coming back, Miner's Joy to the wire. Photo any other way. Maybe by a head. That's tight. Any other way. And Miner's Joy. 155-3. Yet another photo finish. Here's the winner of today's 11th race. The Ideal Society three-year-old gelding from Ms. Indiana by Abercrombie, bred by Cottonwood Farm Incorporated, giving that farm another winner. Co-owner Ray Hanna moves into Victory Lane along with Gloria Buzzard, wife of co-owner Lyle Buzzard, giving Aldemont residents their second win of the afternoon. Tom Simmons picks up the winning drive. Any other way, who was race timed here in 55 and 3 and a strong showing a few days ago, now with that record. So he has lowered his record by 20 and 1 fifth seconds. Benita Simmons also in that victory lane presentation, wife of driver Tom, with a 20 second faster record lifetime. There's the winner, any other way.